Hi guys, in my Instagram profile you asked me how I've set this cool 3D cube and what tools I use for this animation. So I decided to record a quick tutorial for you and before we start I also remind you to hit a comment, drop a like and subscribe on my channel if you want more useful and of course funny content about motion design. And sponsor of the video is my class on Udemy. If you always want to know how to set advanced character rig, how to set rotation of your characters and other cool tips and tricks about this topic, this class is exactly for you and you can get it with a huge discount right now, just use the link below in the description and enjoy the process uh, of rigging. Ok, let's start. Obviously I need to draw some rectangle, let's do it. And I will work with anchor points a lot today and I will use motion script for this, uh, but you can do it without any script, just press uh, your control and using uh, anchor point tool you can uh, change uh, the position of the anchor point. So yeah, just in case, maybe it will be useful for you and you didn't know about this cool tip. Uh, let's put our square. Uh, to the center of uh, the composition. Okay, I guess it's normal. And duplicate it. Great. I will uh, put anchor point uh, here. Let's do it. Duplicate again and change anchor point to this left side. Again, duplicate it. Change anchor point to the top again duplicate and then change anchor point to the bottom. Let's do it. Okay, great. And right now I need to make all these layers as a 3D layer. Let's do it. Okay, nice. Also, obviously, I need to uh, use uh, to make sure that I put all these sides of uh, my cube correctly. Yeah? So let's add one more view and it will be top view. Okay, great. And now we just will rotate uh, each edge uh, in a correct way. So you just need to be a bit more concentrated and uh, make sure that you do everything correctly. So let's start from this uh, left uh, edge and rotate it uh, in 90 uh, degrees, yeah? Okay, awesome. Then next, left edge and rotate it uh, in minus 90 degrees. Awesome. Then this top uh, edge again, rotate it. Oops, oops. Yeah, by x uh, axis and again in 80 degrees. So it's simple. And the bottom, let's open rotation and Rotate it in minus 80 degrees. Awesome! And don't forget about uh, the back yeah? uh, cap, we need to add it. Let's change uh, to the left or you can work with top view just uh, in case. But I will change, why not, because I can. And we need to copy the first edge here, duplicate and just put it. To the back, yeah. Okay, nice. It seems I did it, yeah. Okay, perfect. We get uh, the perfect cube right now. How to rotate this cube? Well, it's extremely simple. First of all, let's rename this uh, precompose. Ok, and now put this precompose to the final composition. We don't need two views anymore, let's turn off it. And here is the last steps. Just make this precompose as a 3D layer and then collapse. And now we can open rotation settings and you will see that you can control the rotation of this awesome 3D cube. Yeah, looks great! and even can add some light. 
and get uh, amazing shading just in case if you need so you can see it works. And I was so excited when I found this cool method and if you feel something similar please let me know below in comments and of course uh, hit a like and subscribe on my channel if you liked my content uh, and as you can see I post a lot of cool tips and tricks about motion design and sometimes even about illustrations yeah and also I invite you to follow me on Instagram where I share my works not only tips and my daily life so if it sounds interesting again uh, welcome welcome and see you in the next videos bye